FP3s, I once again welcome you back to our class. This is our first le lesson. We are still looking at leadership. We looked at those leaders, good leaders in the Bible. You can still mention them. The good leaders in the Bible, we looked at them like Abraham, Moses, Ruth, Joshua, to mention but a few. But in the final lesson, what we looked at, we looked at how Moses helped the Israelites depart from Egypt. How Moses helped the Israelites depart from Egypt. I remember telling you that if you want to know more about that story, you go to the Bible, open in the Old Testament, that is the second book. That second book is known as Exodus. Exodus, you open chapter 3, you begin from verse 1, you read the whole chapter. Then you know more about the departure of Israel's from Egypt. I remember telling you how the Israel suffered under the king, King Ephalau. These Ephalau were two kings. The first, the king, Ephalau Rames, who was the king, when Joseph was still there, after his death, the second follower is the one who made the Israelites suffer. He made them work as slaves. And we looked at all those things in lesson three. And we looked at the thing which at least weakened the follower's heart and made him allow the Egyptian, the sorry, the Israelites out of Egypt. We didn't think was that. After the death of his firstborn son, maybe he said that this God of these people is very serious. He had to let them go. Today, we are looking at the problems that Israel met during the journey. It wasn't easy for them. Okay? You may think that this man, this king just let them go. But after them, after him letting the Israel out of Egypt, he did not just let them go. Still, he had, to, he had to follow them. How did he follow them? These people still got problems. Let us first see the first one. They were attacked by the Egyptian army. The Egyptians still fought these people. After the king letting these people go, again he had to gather the army. And he commanded the army to follow these people, to kill them on their way. He did not want them to reach the promised land. So, these people the Israelites were attacked by the Egyptian army. From there, they had failed to cross the Red Sea. Remember God told them that he would take them to the promised land. But there was no direct route they could take. Eh? They had to pass via the sea. When they reached there, you know the sea. The sea is that water body with a lot of water. You cannot just pass there with your foot, with your feet. No. They were there. They had failed to cross. Eh? And these people met them there and attacked them. What else? Which other problem? They had no water. You know they were just moving, footing. Eh? Footing. How can you move without water? You know a person survives with water. Without water. The body can be dry and you end up dying. These people liked the fresh water. The water which was there was not fresh for them to drink. They had no food. The Israelites had no food. They were hungry. And out of their journey, they faced a lot of problems. These are the problems. If you want to know more, still, I refer you to Exodus. Go to this book, read, you will learn more about the problems these people went through. From there, how God solved their problems? How did God solve 
something. Something will be put on your bread or something will be put in your saucepans. So God made a way in the Red Sea and the Israelites were hoped to cross the Red Sea. Do you think these people are in the, the, the Egyptian, Egyptians who are following them? Even though they thought that they were just afraid going to cross the Red Sea. No. For them, after these people were crossing, as they were trying to cross, the water had to cover up and it killed them all. The Egyptian army died in the Red Sea. God called the Egyptian army. This army, the army which was following the is the, the what? The Israelites, they were all killed. They also wanted to cross the Red Sea. They didn't know that for them, they were not among the favorites of God. So they just died. He changed the bitter water into fresh wine. God changed that bitter water into fresh wine. You know God can do each and everything because he has that divine power. There is nothing impossible into his hands. He can do each and everything. He can even move mountains. So the water which was bitter was changed to fresh wine. God provided food. When you read that book, you know how God provided food. So that is how the Israelites were out of Egypt. And that is how their problems were solved. I have said, if you want to know more about this, tell me to get your Bible. You read in Exodus chapter 3. Continue reading. And you see how God rescued them from the suffering they were in of slavery and how they reached the promised land. If there are questions on the hard copies you got from the school, please read and answer the questions. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless.